Okay, guys. Oh, that doesn't smell good. That is one dead fish. <laughs> I had a catfish die overnight. This is one of my original catfish. If you remember, uh, or long time viewers for sure know, the very first catfish video I did was about four years ago. So this is a four year old fish. They got this size and then they stopped growing. But I've lost two recently. And it seems to be just old age. This one's been sitting in the sun here for about six hours. I was gone, so it's getting a little ripe. But we're going to turn this dead fish into fertilizer. And it's quite simple to do. We're just going to bury it and let nature take care of it. Uh, when I was a kid, all we used for fertilizer was seaweed or kelp and fish and people still do this capelin is a very popular fertilizer but we use the uh, old lobster bait stuff like that as well don't smell good when you're doing a big uh, big garden and you're putting uh, you know a ton of, <laughs> of fish in there you don't smell great for a couple of days but it really does work what I'm gonna do with this is dig a trench in my garden bed bury it deep my garden beds raised beds are uh, wicking beds meaning they have a sand layer in the bottom that holds water don't want to go down into the sand but close to it then we'll bury it up and forget it was ever there that's the plan anyway should work good it's not the first time I've done it it's just the first time I've shown it Checking out the survivors. That's all that's left from the original 500 is three fish. But it's been four years. It's pretty good. Yeah, here comes the other one. They like to play with the, with the oxygen now. For the first three years, they didn't have any oxygen added to the water. Now they got it, they like to play with it. Or just sleep. Beauty fish though, huh? But gotta harvest them soon. Just gonna lose them to old age. I've been getting this bed ready anyway. The blue pipe you see there, that is the fill pipe. Or how I fill the reservoir with water. These wicking beds, you know, they stay wet all the time. So this will break down really quick. She might smell for a day or two, but it should be deep enough that it won't be a problem. Nothing goes to waste for us, you know. We put everything to work one way or another. Uh, I would normally use, use this for my maggot farm, but since I'm getting this garden bed ready anyway, I thought I would uh, do it this way this time. You can bury, bury any scraps, food scraps, fish scraps, it don't matter. It's just got to be deep enough that you know you won't get problems with rodents and cats and things like that. Okay, here it is. I also went in and got some stuff in the kitchen. Normally our compostable stuff goes to the chickens, but this is the stuff they won't eat. Uh, tea bags, onions, or some banana peels. Goats like those. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, it's stuff that they won't eat anyway. So this is what I do with it. Uh, some people would put lime or something on this. I never have. Like I say, this soil, you know, it's it stays wet, you know. 
you just bury it up. Now I'm not telling people this is how you should do it or anything like that. I'm just showing what I do. Like normal, do what works for you and I'll do what works for me. But either way, it's no point throwing away something that you can put to work for yourself. Uh, fish scraps and that also make good compost starter new compost pile put some fish scraps in the middle or dead rat or <laughs> you know whatever you have it'll kick it off a lot quicker it gets the eat going faster now the flies are wondering where my dinner went but that's easy you know you could put buckets and buckets full of vegetable scraps in the garden like this got this idea of doing the trench system from Muggsy Jeff in Australia unfortunately he don't make videos anymore but he made some good ones back in the day when he was making them and that's how, I, that's how he always did it and he had a very very good garden a garden that I can only dream of alright guys well that's it like I say I'm not telling you to do it I'm just showing what I do if you decide to leave a nasty comment because you don't agree with this you're just wasting your time I'll delete it as per normal <laughs> but I'm sure somebody's gonna get their panties in a bunch doing something different alright guys as always thanks for watching see you on the next one